Welcome back, or shall I say, welcome to the first edition of Seattle Seahawks Preview. We are in week number 13. The Seattle Seahawks are going up against the Los Angeles Rams and L.A. Memorial Coliseum at 5.20 p.m. in primetime. Seattle comes into this game with a 10-2 record, the Rams at a 7-5. This should be a very, very, very exciting game. I actually watched the first game, some of the highlights I was actually working, so I did not have an opportunity to watch the game. And man, did I miss a great game back and forth. It should be another amazing primetime matchup. Russell Wilson will be going up against Cooper Cup in what should be a pretty good quarterback matchup. Chris Carson going up against Todd Gurley. And sadly, for the Rams, they will be without Gerald Everett. But the Seahawks will have Jacob Hollister, who has been absolutely balling. At least the last couple games prior to the one before, he was really getting the groove going. And so was that Seahawks offense. As we can see here, the Rams are definitely in need of a win. They are in need of a lot of wins to get into that final wild card spot. A 10-6 has a possibility of bringing them to the playoffs. 11-5 and five will most assuredly bring them to the playoffs. I am looking at this game, and I'm thinking that Seattle has a decent shot, but it's going to, no, going to be no easy feat defeating the Rams in their stadium and in prime time. With that being said, though, Seattle went to San Francisco, and they beat the Niners, or Santa Clara, I shall say, and they won 27-24 by a missed kick. Seattle beat the Rams in their stadium by a missed kick. So some interesting things here. They've been close and they've been back and forth. And that's been the story for Seattle all season long. For this game, I want to be look at want to be looking at Todd Gurley for the Rams and what he can do because I think he's the X factor for this game. For Seattle's X factor, I think it's going to come down to can they execute and start strong? Because ultimately, when Seattle plays a good quality four quarters, they're one of the better teams in the NFL, if not the best. But we haven't seen that this year in the sense that they kind of have a slower start or they have a good start. Middle-ish, half. You guys have seen the jokes all around all season long about how Seattle just loves to bring teams back into the football game. as Basically, all their games have been decided by less than seven points and their wins at least. And one loss, they lost by 14, and then they got a garbage time touchdown against the uh, the Saints, their home stadium, and lost that game. But when we look at those those matchups, look at those games. Seattle's been in back and forth games, so this game I, I'm I'm going to say is going to be a back and forth game. I jokingly made a joke to a couple coworkers that Seattle's going to win this game by 21 points, you know, just jokingly. But I will say it's going to be a lot closer than that. I think this is going to come down to the fourth quarter. I think the team that is winning or at least the team that scores in the fourth quarter is going to be the team that runs away with it. I think it will be close, but in the fourth quarter, I think Seattle is going to pull away. And the reason why I think they're going to pull away is if their defense can play the way they have been playing the last few weeks, they've been getting a better turnover ratio. They've been getting a better you know, tackling, better coverage. Everything has been better for that Seahawks defense. If they can continue that in this game, they will win. If they can't, they will lose. I think this really comes down to the Seahawks defense. As much as their offense and them playing a good four quarters of football is, is the factors that I would look at today for this game, I also think it's very important that Seattle really dominates on that defensive side of the football field. Jadevian Clowney, if he plays, huge X factor, huge reason for Seattle to win. If he doesn't, it's going to be very tough. However, Gerald Everett is not playing in this football game. He was Big time. The first game that the Seahawks played this year made a lot of receptions, seven catches, I believe it was 119 yards. So he was balling out. So if we look at that today, we see these two teams. It's going to be a great game of football. It's going to be a game of football that's going to be back and forth. Great divisional matchup. I'm so excited to watch it. So I'm so excited to review how the game goes. But in this game, I have Seattle winning 31-21. Now, I will say it's a bit weird to give a four touchdown Seahawks and one field goal and then three touchdown Rams because I'm guaranteeing you right now the game won't end like that. It's going to be a lot, lot different than what my prediction may be, but I think that Seattle has a good chance to really show the world that they're pretty serious contenders, but at the same time, 
The Rams are playing for something. They have a chip on their shoulder. They're seven and five. Their backs are against the wall. They got a real huge shot to make some room in that playoff hunt. And if they can take down Seattle and their home stadium, that will only advance their chances of getting back into the playoffs and possibly going for another Super Bowl run. This should be a good game. Should be back and forth. Look out for Chris Carson, Russell Wilson, and DK Metcalf. Because I think Tyler Lockett, if you don't give him a lot of exposure, that man's going to ball. And that man, last couple weeks coming off an injury, has had a bit of a lesser role in being exposed or in the the sense of like he hasn't been the highlight of Seattle's offense, but he's still the highlight of the Seattle's offense. And Seattle has pulled off victories with him not being as much involved because of that injury. And let's see him tomorrow and let's see him today. Whenever you're watching this, I'm making this on Saturday night. But I think he is going to be a huge, huge provider to the Seahawks offense. Tyler Lockett, if he can get going with DK Metcalf, Josh Gordon, and Jacob Hollister, along with Chris Chris Carson, they have a lot of weapons. And let's not forget Rashad Penny. This team is going to have a great shot at winning this football game. For the Rams, on the other hand, to win this football game, they're really going to need their receiving quarter step up with Cooper Cup. Robert Woods, and their running back, Todd Gurley. I think if you look at this this game, it's, it's a coin toss. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be back and forth, and I think that ultimately the better team will come out of this victorious. Seattle, if they lose this game, would fall to 10-3, and three. and if the Rams lose this game, they fall to 7-6. and six. So definitely a high-barring loss for the Rams. Not as bad if the Seattle does lose this game. With that being said, if Seattle loses this game, Niners win their game. They flip-flop positions first and second and their game behind. So Seattle knows how big this game is. They've been in these situations before. Russell's been in this situation before. I think the reason why I give such a huge edge to Seattle is I would like to take my bias to fandom out. I think it's because of Russell. Russell's been lights out this year. He's had a couple interesting games the last few weeks. Hasn't really thrown for a crazy amount of yardage, crazy amount of touchdowns, but he is a huge reason why Seattle is where they are now. So I'm excited to see what happens. Excited to watch this matchup. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little bit of a preview. Let me know what you think, who you think is going to win the football game tomorrow. It should be a fun one, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm excited to watch it as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, a comment. And if you are new here, this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and put on notifications to see when I post. Thank you and have a wonderful day.